you haven't done so already, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. Now, in this chapter, we learn about an equation that relates resistance to temperature. And in this particular question, we are being asked to determine the so-called temperature coefficient of resistivity. Well, in this equation, that would be referring to alpha. So really, our goal is to solve for alpha. And what's particularly challenging is that the alpha is buried, so to speak, inside of the bracket. So we have to solve for it in a very careful manner. And we want to work from the outside in, essentially. So, for example, we have a multiplication of this R0 value. We're going to, therefore, divide both sides by R0. And what that will do on the right side is cancel out the R0. And at that point, we can drop the brackets. Now on the right side we have a plus one and therefore to undo that we can subtract one from both sides of the equation. And finally on the right side we have the multiplication of this t minus t naught term so to undo that we're going to divide both sides of the equation by that term. And of course that will cancel it on the right side. So we have successfully isolated alpha. Let's write the equation over here just to make some room. Now to use this equation all we have to do is pair up each resistance to its respective temperature. So that resistance will go along with whatever that temperature is. And then this R0, which is sort of the reference value of the resistance, will be paired up with this T0, which is the reference temperature. The reference values can be taken to be the original values given. So that would be our R0, and this would be our T0. And then the other values of resistance and temperature would be these values given here. So with those values identified, we can plug into the equation and solve for alpha. And notice that the ohms in the numerator here and denominator there will cancel out. And when you simplify this, you should get 1.1 times 10 to the minus 3. As for the unit, a little tricky, but the top of this fraction, if we sort of draw a line a little thicker here to denote the the top right here and then the bottom. The top of the fraction was unitless, whereas the bottom has a unit of degrees Celsius. So since the degrees Celsius is on the bottom, we have a unit of degrees Celsius raised to the negative one. Sort of a strange unit, but that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen.